My, my, what manner of place is this? A patch of ground to call home. Some rest for the wicked after all. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Why, I never. You're paranoid, aren't you? Must be the surroundings, rather bleak and lonesome. One feels so exposed. Yes, this encampment is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. Tart, tart. No need for that crude cutlery of yours. As you can see, I'm amply provisioned. This is the House of Hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Fair enough. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. <laughs> My, aren't you a nervous one? I assure you I'm here to help, not harm. Consider your predicament. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. By all means, bite the hand that feeds you while you still have teeth. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Bloody hells. 
Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Anticipation. She is testing you somehow about Raphael. Actually, yes, you're right. Very intuitive. Clearly the devil was trying to sow doubt among us. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt is sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food, us. Cunning people, private, and very dangerous at times. Perhaps you'll meet them one day. See, sowing doubt is an old trick. Watch out for it, and for Raphael. Do you feel as flattered as I do? A cambion came courting us. Yes, they offer you an apple, but they're the worm that lurks within. Still, don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation, it merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us, badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. There's no such thing as an absolute certainty. Let me play the devil deals advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. Raphael is a cambion, which makes him part human. And what is human is fallible. By figuring out his true intentions. Fact one. There's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. What if the tadpole is what he really wants instead of the customary price that is our souls? If I'm right, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormerian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we'll find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. Casador liked to toy with people too. Let them think there was hope right until the end. Until he snatched it all away. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary Mind Flayer parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. 
In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? That's because you still have hope, but when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you what you're least ready to part with, and then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure, but the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Githyanki knights. The riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my Queen Vlakith's will. Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my Queen's favor, and I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase. To penetrate the Hells, this is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Vlakith's sight pierces the many planes. Speak. Chuck, you believe you can survive without me? As you say, do not keep me waiting. Well met. Ah, that's the spirit. Well met.
Well met. You sure about that? I'm one of a kind. And just when things were warming up, Something the matter? All right, some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Need something? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me, body and soul, and I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Cazador. I'm glad to hear it. Whatever's coming, we need to keep our options open.
are you? Something the matter? If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. Speak. It is done. Empty. I'm still looking to shift some supplies. Don't have much to spare, but it's more than we can carry. <laughs> 